So Amusement Today just released their winners for their 2024 awards and the Golden Ticket Awards. And they have Fury again as the top steel coaster in the world. And I'm here to share with you my thoughts on that as well as learn about your thoughts because is Fury 325 really deserving of the number one steel coaster in the world? Anyways, later in the video, I'm going to share with you how I rank my top five steel coasters. So stay tuned for that. Now with any awards, we really have to take it more like a grain of salt. And can we really trust Amusement Today and the Golden Ticket Awards? Because usually it's almost like the same ride or same park always wins every single year. And like Fury, it has won the best steel coaster for eight straight years. Now, don't get me wrong. Fury is a fantastic coaster. And I live very close to it and I get to ride it pretty frequently. And I would go on to say that Fury is one of the top three most re-rideable coasters out there. I mean, it's almost addicting. The more you ride it, the more you want it. And I rode, I, I can ride it 10 times in an hour and I just want more and more and more. But again, is it better than like Steel Vengeance, Iron Gwazi, or the amazing coasters overseas like Tehran and Zadra? I mean, I don't know. I've never been on those rides, but I've talked to a lot of people who have, and they would have something to say about these awards. But again, Fury 325 at Carowinds is ranked as the number one steel coaster. And I, I feel like we need to see that change because it's been eight years and I love Fury again. I'm not knocking the ride, but Iron Gwazi is better. Air Force One is better. Not to mention, I think Maverick is better or pretty close to Fury 325. There's a lot of other steel coasters out there that some could argue that are even better than Fury, except Orion. Orion is not better than Fury 325. For anyone who says it is, ignore them. They're lying. Uh, but for Fury 325, I really feel like hopefully the next year or two, especially 2025 comes around with all these new awesome coasters that are being added to the parks. I feel like Fury could get knocked off of the number one rating. And I really think that's good for the industry. And again, not everyone pays attention to these awards, but it is kind of cool to go off of it and see how you rank it compared to what they rank it. With that being said, if you like my shirt, check out KeepRidingCoasters.com for my Fury layout shirt. Highly recommend it. Uh, but as far as my steel coasters go, I would go number five, Maverick. Number four would be Fury 325. Number three would be Airy Force One at Fun Spot Atlanta. Number two, Velocicoaster at Islands of Adventure. And number one, Iron Gwazi at Busch Gardens Tampa. Uh, I'm sorry, again, I love Fury, but those rides, at least those top four, Iron Gwazi, Area Force One, I just feel like they're all better rides and do more for me than what Fury 325 provides. But again, it is the best Giga Coaster out there. It is the best B&M Coaster ever built. And I'm excited for the future of the next Giga Coaster and which park it could be at. So, and if you're planning on visiting Carowinds, then check out my Carowinds attraction guide that you see at the bottom of the screen. What are your thoughts on Fury 325? Where do you rank it? As always, thank you so much for watching. Remember to smile today, think positive, and of course, keep riding coasters.